not to just revolve around fancy things. Let's just straight away jump into the key points. All right, I'm gonna go into Quora. And I'm gonna actually type how to get a digital marketing job. I'm gonna actually search for it. So let's keep on search and let's say get a digital marketing job. Right. Um, what's the best way to get into digital marketing? And get six digit salary as digital marketing expert. Is there a feature in digital marketing? What basic salary can a fresher get in digital marketing? How do I get trained in digital marketing? What is the best digital marketing course? Blah blah blah. People just consume, 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 and they never practice. So right over here, what I'm gonna discuss is how you can get a digital marketing job the best way which is actually the hard way but that's the best way to get a digital marketing job which will help you enhance your digital marketing career not to just revolve around fancy things let's just straight away jump into the key points what are the salary all right the first thing which comes to a digital marketer uh, who is looking for a digital marketing job is how much salary they will be earning Right from here to here, let me just give you the actual honest thing which is there in the market. Now, a lot of people just fancy around and they have set the bar to right over here which is actually not the true fact. People think that uh, learning digital marketing skills, doing a digital marketing course and then getting a digital marketing job will offer them 50,000, 1 lakh rupees and 1.5 lakh rupees and they'll be rich as brag like like over the night that won't happen guys you have to have this is a normal job this is just like a normal job that you have to actually grow yourself day by day day in and day out all right so starting from right over here if you are a brand newbie if you are just a fresher inside digital marketing job then definitely you will fall into a bracket of somewhere around 15,000 to 20,000 where actually you have to grow yourself enhance your skill and you have to actually day by day, every single day, learn something new, apply that something new in digital marketing and then keep on sharing that something new with the company every single point in time, alright? And that's how you get to a little bit or you level up your enhancing or you level up your digital marketing skills. Then when you go and have a little bit of experience, maybe one year, two year down the line or maybe, it depends, it totally depends. A couple of people like, uh, they go and jump into this bracket within three months, right? That totally depends upon how much you are, uh, how much effort you are putting up into, right? People, a couple of people uh, might be falling into a category where they just think that, all right, so my job is to work for only eight hours a day. And out of eight hours, they only put in the actual effort of just three hours. They don't even put in the remaining hours. They just sit around, they just talk and blah, 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 bullshit around, complain, complain, complain. All right. So instead of putting up the nine hours or eight hours, which are actual job hours, work hours, they don't put in the actual effort. And then they expect their, uh, their bosses to actually <laughs> jump into this bracket and give them promotion. That won't happen, all right? That won't happen because the next person is actually competing you. The next person is actually there who is putting in their effort, putting in those four hours extra than what you are doing, all right? So if you want to fall into this bracket, it totally depends upon you. I just want to be honest with you. I don't want to fancy you over here. So I just want to be honest with you. If you want to jump these brackets, all right? It, it totally depends upon you how much fast you want to grow and that's that, that is only one way you will have to have patience along with hard work all right hard work hard work hard work you have to put in the effort so pressure fall into somewhere around 15,000 to 20,000 bracket then comes the in, in betweens of this experience category and pressure when you might fall into a 35,000 bracket to 50,000 bracket depending upon how much experience you've got, how much practicality you now have. So right over here, there are a couple of uh, SEO experts who are brand new, maybe getting their first job, second job. So right over here, some executives like digital marketing executive uh, who might be just handling a couple of campaigns, Facebook marketing, SEO. So even if you have a position of SEO expert, don't think that you will get into a bracket of 50,000 straight away. No, not happen. It, it won't happen, guys. You have to start from the basic level. Then comes in between where a couple of digital marketing trainers are there who actually train people. So even they fall into this category over here. If that is the first ever job for them as a digital marketing trainer, provided they have some practicality shown online. So digital marketing trainer uh, profile is something like you have to show some practicality. It's actually training people for digital marketing. So use yourself 
all right you yourself should have some experience which is practical experience so even if it is your first job your practical experience can be your own website which you might have built upon your own seo stuff which you might have done on your own website your own facebook campaigns which you might have run on your website on your blog maybe your blog articles content instagram profiles all such kind of things all right maybe your youtube video just like this one right so that is where this particular thing comes into picture so depending upon how much practical you are depending upon how much practical exposure you have depending upon how much practical results you have got for your particular thing which you might have been doing before you get this first ever job in this bracket will categorize your salary part maybe you might get 50,000 60,000 straight away in the first ever job all right then comes this experience category which definitely definitely 99.99% you won't get it in the first place. So if you are a fresher, if you are a brand newbie getting your first job, mostly you won't fall into this category. You might fall into these two categories. So up to one lakh, which is an experience guy. So as you go along, you will be falling into these brackets, all right? And then as you move forward, depends upon you where you want to be, all right? And how much efforts you are putting up. So <coughs> that's what I will actually mention about this uh, particular salary part. Next is job titles. Job titles are various. Simply, let, let, let's do it practically live over here. I didn't plan to do this, but I'm doing it right now. So let's actually go into mobile and uh, your browser basically, whatever you are using. Let's type digital marketing job titles. And there would be a bunch of titles over here right in front of us. Uh, let's say uh, list of marketing job titles and descriptions, the balance and it's updated as of 18th September 2017 so let's go into that right? it's, it's the latest article which they might have updated uh, the balance.com I don't know what they are into uh, with this particular article so let's let's go down and let's see if they have the title straight away it's loading 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 continue reading they have a lot of ads and stuff over here alright so see it's, it's like <coughs> it's plainly and simple from alphabet A on lettering guys by the way <laughs> This is funny part. Apart from this, do you know how many uh, letters are there or how many alphabets are there? What is the difference? <laughs> A lot of people would be saying that there are 26 alphabets in English language. No, actually not. There is one alphabet consisting of 26 letters. <laughs> okay, correct. So, uh, coming over here, back to here, there are A to C, then it's like D to L. Let's, let's go through a couple of them. Email marketer, inside sales representative, creative assistant. Brand manager, brand strategist, assistant brand manager. All right, let's let's go down. Public relations director, product manager, media buyer, media director, media planner. You have plenty of job titles over here. All right, but a couple of them which people think always are what is it? SEO executive, social media marketing manager. All right, digital marketing expert, digital marketing specialist. No, they are not the only ones. There are tons and tons of things, guys. So it totally depends upon what you are um, specializing into. You will never be an expert because things are changing every single day. If you go into Facebook Ads Manager, it's changing every single day. You won't even be aware about that. So you yourself as a digital marketer have to keep yourself up to date. Be it like content marketing, Facebook marketing, Twitter marketing, Instagram, Snapchat ads, Pinterest, Quora, hell lot of things all right so job titles is something which you have to figure out what you are specializing into and what you are comfortable into in the first place when you are just starting out next comes expertise now when, why did i uh, mention these two parts separately job titles is something that you feel that you are comfortable but expertise is something very new actually enhance your already specialized knowledge all right whatever you are specialized Whatever you are specialized over here, you have to keep on exporting this thing every single day. Now, how do you do that? By simply and simply applying this last formula, which I define as learn, apply, share. Last, all right? L for learn, A for apply, S for share. Learn, apply, and share. Learn, apply, and share. How do you do that? You learn something new every single day in your specialized knowledge and you become an expert by applying that something new which you learn every single day. And you keep on sharing those new techniques. You keep on sharing and, and applying and keeping giving results to your company where you are actually working on. Or maybe your own blog which you might be hustling around apart from your work you are doing for the company. 
So that is where you become an expert slowly and steadily, but never 100% because it's a journey, it's not a destination to be an expert. Next, fail guys. If you do these things, you always fail with a smile. Fail with a smile, alright? Fail with a smile because if you have fear of if, if you have a fear of losing, you'll always lose. So have failures in your digital marketing journey or maybe your life, whether wherever you are doing these things, it's always a failure which takes you to the next step. Right? So these are a couple of things which I can tell you about digital marketing job. Basically, you have to be a practitioner, guys. If you let let me just give you an example. I was asked uh, listening to this particular episode of part podcast from Neil Patel and Eric Su uh, from Marketing School. And what they are mentioning is Neil Patel is actually hiring people. How? He simply and simply in his interview uh, when he is actually taking interview of somebody, uh, he is actually asking what are the practical exposure or what are the practical results which you have for yourself, not for the company which you are working for right now. All right. So let's say you go to Neil Patel or any XYZ big companies who are actually dealing with digital marketing stuff. What they'll ask you is, what have you done for yourself? What have you practically exposed? If you talk about Instagram bullshit, have you ever run Instagram ad for yourself, for your brand? All right. Maybe you might have run just one ad for the company and then you are saying that I know Instagram ads. That won't work guys. That won't work because you might have run that Instagram ad three months ago and now completely changed. Right? So you have to keep on updating yourself and that's, that's like, like it, it can happen only and only if you are hustling apart from what you are doing for the company and that is actually a good stuff because you are not at all competing with the company which you are working for, you are actually building your own stuff which will indirectly help the company because you will be way much more confident in what you are doing for the company. So it's all about work, it's not about business, employee or entrepreneurship, it's all about work. Love what you do. Get a digital marketing job where you have specialized knowledge about. Keep on learning and applying stuff. That's the way you actually reach to a little bit of 100%, a little bit out of 100% of expertise and keep on failing, keep on failing, keep on failing. Alright? Apart from that, if you have any other question of how you get digital marketing job, what are the companies you should be dealing with, what are digital marketing courses you should be taking, where you can get the free registered, free free uh, digital marketing things. Do let us know in the comments or somewhere around this episode and we we'll look forward to see you on the Digi Voice of Digi Perform. This is Digital Prati signing off. I'll see you later. That's fine, you can watch that one right now and that will help you a lot. And yeah, by the way, for you guys, uh, there is a video right over here and here as you can see. Uh, so just watch those videos, those are the videos which will help you right now and those are the videos which we want at Digiperform to see the next one. So yeah and by the way below this video right over here there would be a subscribe button so if you still not have then hit that one and that would be the world to us. This is Digiperform and signing off.